And hello everybody, I'm Electra with you together with Xen. Hey Xen, I hope you can hear me. Uh, just a sec, <laughs> I forgot one thing. Okay, now you can say. Yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I muted uh, the uh, TV, <laughs> so you were like, okay, you were talking and nothing. <laughs> yeah, now it should be good. Uh, okay, so I've uh, get uh, I got some infos about uh, Balkan bears, and uh, those Radio small spray. infos would be related to the fact that uh, this team it's uh, from Ar Romania, but uh, they started to play in this lineup uh, just from this league. So uh, they don't have so much training together, Ten but we'll see go. how they will manage. But as long as they did manage to get uh, till this yeah, position, I suppose they are playing quite okay. Yeah, I bet so. I mean, it, it takes quite some some work to get to the first uh, through the first three or four rounds. So yes, yeah. it's not There's so really easy. There's really no more Ten seconds to go. like amateur teams and on the way in these Radiant rounds anymore. Band. So yeah, and uh, you bet there is a good. The manager also uh, hopes to be able to get to the international uh, five. From I'm reading right uh, now what uh, he's saying, the small description, and uh, they're hoping that with this lineup they will manage to get to the international five. Uh, I can wish them only luck, uh, because yeah, it's uh, why not? Maybe we will see once a Romanian team at the international. Who knows? Even if uh, by now there wasn't, but uh, we can always hope for new teams that will rise and uh, shock us in a good way at uh, that huge tournament. In, yep. the mean in the meantime, just one more thing. Uh, yesterday they played against uh, Next KZ and they won. Yeah, it so was also a best of one series as today. And I think that would be it uh, related to like a short intro uh, for this uh, league. If you have anything else to add? Mm, not really. I mean, you said nearly everything, so... Yeah, Balkan Beers is uh, still looking good just as Compass Gaming, and I'm excited to see them clash here. Compass Gaming obviously also a good team, so... Yeah. Let's hope... Faces uh, Void, Venture Spirit, Visage, and that's a very, very... Armor penetrating team they have there. <laughs> yeah, they have uh, quite a lot of. Uh, they have a good lineup for now, and what I like the uh, most is the fact that uh, Back and Beers decided to go for Venge, which is kind of a good counter to Faceless Void. <laughs> so they won't have this uh, um, against uh, Faceless Void. Yeah, on the other hand, they have Sven, so some nice extra armor that he walked right there for uh, Compass Five Gaming seconds. and together with the Skyrath Mage I can still burst him down pretty easily and I mean the backtrack is not obviously a very Reserve efficient time. against the Skyrath Ultimate so there might be a chance for uh, for Compass Gaming to get some kills early on against the Phaser Sword before he got his Chronosphere. Yeah for sure they have a chance and uh, as long as uh, Skyrath Mage manages somehow to get out to not be in the Chronosphere it can be a bit uh, damaging for uh, Balkan, but uh, it's also but, you know, it's uh, not something certain. If he gets in, it will be kind of hard. But uh, they for sure need uh, as much as CC as they can take to try to stop uh, Faceless Lord from doing whatever he wants in that chronosphere. And let's not forget about the uh, Visage, which has quite a lot of armor just from the, uh, his skills. And he's uh, quite annoying. Slark. We yeah, see with Slark. The, uh, Radiance pit. Yeah, with this Slark on the way for Compass Gaming now, they ha actually have pretty nice uh, early fighting lineup. Slark, obviously, with the pounds, very nice uh, into the arcane bolts. Harassment and Sven, obviously, also a very car uh, carry that's uh, coming online very early with the uh, ultimate. So. Let's not forget about the fact that Slark is a snowball hero. If uh, he gets the farm and the kills he wants, uh, it's going to be really, really hard yeah, for uh, Balkan. Yeah, it could be a problem. Five but uh, yeah, let's see what Balkan tries to do against it. I mean, they obviously know what's coming at them. I'm excited. 
I like the fact that I see uh, Wisp as in your. I prefer to uh, call him Wisp as the old name <laughs> because yeah, it can seem a bit uh, odd. Um, Wisp had been banned there, so there won't be like extra mobility for any, uh, any of the teams. And it would have been kind of interesting to have a uh, Wisp and uh, Sven, you know, that's uh, quite good for uh, Compass, but uh, it's not going to happen this game. Yep. And right now, Balkan Beers can still do a lot, I think. I mean, they have actually quite a good roaming potential with the Ventral and Visage combination. And they pick the draw rate to addition, in addition to that, so there's actually a lot of damage coming in from the Ventral and the Dora Aura uh, with the uh, negative armor as well. Also, draw obviously a good hero to hit outside of the Chronosphere. So, yeah. Yeah, th uh, they go for that uh, damage and they want to make sure they'll have enough. Um, but let's not forget about the fact that uh, Draw is a hero that doesn't have any escape mechanism until the Dance point where she can get uh, either a blink dagger or a shadow blade. Depends uh, for what uh, they prefer to go. Uh, otherwise, if you go on uh, Draw, it's going to be dead. Yeah, and sure. Puck, and we see uh, their uh, hero, the fourth one. I mean, yeah, they, they need something like Puck, that's, that's obviously a good pick on the offlane against Draw Ranger. He can easily evade the uh, face ball of the, uh, face the uh, Skyra Soul Assumption, uh, Visage Soul Assumption, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, they need something to go actively on the Draw Rangers. A Slark would have been not enough, uh, except that he gets the Blink Dagger fast. Um, and actually, yeah, even with the puck on the team of Compass Gaming, I think uh, if Ventral and Visage are sitting beside Draw Ranger, they have Reserve really no potential to really actually kill them, or if they kill them, at least with a good trade for Balkan Beer, so. Yes, uh, they, they will for sure fight it out uh, as much as they can. They will not just give it so easily. I, uh, we see the last bands are uh, Dead Prophet and the Legion Commander. Uh, it would have been interesting to see Legion Commander, but uh, I doubt it, that uh, they would have went for this pick anyway. Yeah, and actually the, the Bander from Compass Gaming is pretty smart. The Death Prophet would have been match, a good match for the Balkan Beers lineup with the already the uh, nice aura stacking and the minus armor. The, bench, uh, the spirits of the Death Prophet would have been uh, absolutely superb. But yeah, yeah, it's gone now. Let's see what we have. Brewmasters banned also, and uh, yeah, what mid heroes are left? Not many because we see a yeah. lot of them, uh, a lot of good ones. Uh, yeah, an invoker. Uh, invoker is the one. Yeah, they prefer to go for invoker. Um, a lot of good ones are already banned, but I really didn't had the chance to talk about uh, the first ban that uh, Compass went for, and that's Jakiro. Yesterday Masakari played uh, Jakiro and he <laughs> kind of uh, melted all the towers, the enemy towers. So that's not going to happen in this game. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, Jakiro is, al is al was always or was always a f hero Five fun to watch, seconds. but when they changed the passive to this... Uh, 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 or passive, it was Reserve never really passive attribute, but... Yeah, when they changed it to Eti players on, on the towers, I think it was, yeah, Jack Hero destroyed some games. I mean, that hero can really do some, some work and is quite overpowered in my opinion. But uh, actually, if the invoker of Balkan Beers is a cross Vex invoker, that could be devastating for Compass Gaming. They have four heroes that are heavily reliable on the mana. Uh, I don't think the invoker on... on Exor would have been uh, would be a good match for Balkan Beers in this situation. They have a lot of damage already with the Scar of, uh, with the Draw Ranger and Vengeful Spirit combination, and in addition to that, they have voice Faceless Void plus a nice damage view of Visage. So, uh, Quasvex and Volker would be the best opportunity here for Balkan Beers, and even with the Templar Assassin and Quasvex in the mid should be fine. Yeah, and uh, right after that, I want to uh, ask myself uh, for what he will go. Because uh, I also think that the uh, Quark's X uh, would be quite uh, good. But uh, yeah, who knows exactly what uh, ideas and plans they have. Maybe they want to go for the other one. Who knows? Yeah, we'll um, see. I mean, 
an EMP can really wreck Pompous Gaming at this point of the game. Scarf Mage heavily relied on Lamana. I mean, Sven, not so much, but with all his stun, he's also dependent to just chase heroes all the round and uh, uh, quite are un unable to hit them. And Slark and Puck also very reliable on the mana, such as, blink, uh, uh, such as uh, Temporal Assassin, if she doesn't get the Blink Dagger, and yeah. Yeah, but let's not forget about the fact that at the start of the game, uh, Sven really has a problem with the mana. It's uh, kind of annoying the fact that um, the mana pool is kind of small, and uh, yeah, it requires really 140 <laughs> just to stun once. When yeah, he has a mana pool really of 100... I mean, if he stuns once, there's a kill. In most situations, Sven stuns and there's a kill. Um, Sven really doesn't need so much mana in addition. I mean, of course, his mana sp his spells are heavily mana uh, progressive, but if he uses his stun, he should get a kill with it. That's the general plan. And Sven also just wants to get some farm, wants to get a fast Mask of Madness, or depending on whatever he likes to go for the first item. And uh, yeah, then can heavily go around roaming, killing a bit. And it's not this really straight carry that we used to see for a lot of... Uh, time in Dota. Yeah, uh, that, uh, that's the thing that for um, they need for sure to um, uh, get that kill, you know. And otherwise, if they don't get the kill with uh, Sven when he stuns, it's going to be a quite problematic. And uh, yeah, sadly this game it's uh, not with the ticket, so uh, people can't really watch us on Dota TV, only the people that has us uh, in the friendly, somebody from in-game. In uh, others, the rest can see on the stream. Uh, I didn't had the chance to check out exactly why there was no Dota TV, no All ticket, right. but uh, yeah, <laughs> I had to do too many things and uh, everybody's busy with uh, things, you know. <laughs> it would have been nicer with uh, the ticket, but uh, yeah, it's good even so. Yep. Okay, let's see. Magnetic and uh, Sidar, ED, Elo on the bot lane, Scar of Mage, Ben and Puck in the mid lane. We have Urbanishka? Urbanishka? I don't know, maybe you know how to pronounce it on the Tom the Assassin. And top lane Triumph on the Slark for Compass Gaming. Yep, and we see Masakari playing uh, the Void. He will be on the safe lane. Uh, DH, I think this. Uh, I have to remember what name he had. Uh, Demon, ha yeah, Demon Hunter. Uh, that's his name. This is just the shortcut. On Invoker playing on the mid lane. Uh, Susie playing Vengeful Spirit. Uh, okay, let's say Easy Seven because I really can't read that <laughs> on uh, Visage. <laughs> Envisage and uh, Drew Ranger played by uh, Duke. Yeah, and we see the Invoker just uh, the first point into Exod. Could be just a common point in Exod. But maybe he wants to go Exod. I mean, of course, he needs some additional damage against the Templar Assassin Mid, and he started with the uh, Null Tartus Mana. I really would have liked to see the Cross Vexen Bolt rather than the uh, Exod and Bird. I think the Cross Vexen Bolt could have been uh, an impactful, more impactful. Uh, Invoker in this game rather than the Exhort one and with tog together with the Blades of Attack he could have uh, gone for some extra damage in the early stage as well so I don't quite agree with the decision for for Exhort and the Null Talisman <laughs> it, Well, uh, thing is, uh, just to say, okay good uh, thing is that uh, it seems like they prefer to have an Invoker with more damage also the uh, possibility to help on the other lanes uh, easier with the sun strike most likely. Yeah, but they don't really have a setup for the sun strike. That's the case. And uh, we, we almost the saw the first blood. A bit of slow. We almost saw yeah. the first blood to Masakai. Let's see what's happening because he needs just a few more right There's clicks. Another illusion up. And is and this going goes. to be the first blood? Just yep, that's the first blood. And Sven took he it. He even wasted his self in the end. That was actually pretty devastating for the vent for the void. Wasted is the uh, the self died anyways and have a pretty hard stand on the bot lane against Puck. Yeah, that. But uh, yeah, what I wanted to say, they have one stun and that's the Ventral Spirit, and everything else is just slow. So the setup for the Sunstroke actually is not really available for Balkan beers. 
Well, the idea is that uh, they really managed, they tried to start with the triple offensive, now they are moving, the uh, two supports are moving, and this Visage is sitting in a really, really bad position. If uh, Sven, he will be seen, yep, right now he was so, and <laughs> what's going to happen? <laughs> they are just chasing each other, they want to go for the Venge, and they should get this kill. Just one more hit, and here it comes. And this is try uh, should try to get off here because he's not sitting in a good spot. Uh, he's lucky yeah, that Sven does not have stun. Already. And Templar Assassin is already on his way. So the Vinash might actually die here. It's going to yeah, be really, sure. really bad for them. Yeah, that's a 3 and that's uh, zero a for KPG. That's not good, especially considering the fact that uh, they should have had it a bit easier for uh, the start. And uh, th they didn't pay the attention. And here we go. Uh, here we come to a three-zero. Yeah, and to mention that in the late game preferences actually favor uh, Balkan beers a little bit, um, but. They play from a disadvantage and the Doranger doesn't get the farm that the Doranger needs for the late game early in the game, then they might have problems even with the late game. I mean, Sven actually is a decent uh, carry in the late game. Slark also a decent carry, not the best carries for a late game uh, uh, match, but yeah, against a single draw, I think that might be a good spot actually. KPG could actually win the late game if the Doranger isn't really well farmed in the early game. Yeah, but let's not forget about the fact that um, by now they managed to take uh, quite some kills and they have two roaming supports, which is uh, exactly what you want, uh, especially if you start really good. Get the kills, get the opportunity, force the, uh, the enemies to make mistakes, because otherwise if you're not putting pressure on the enemies, they will never make mistakes. For sure, but the Sven, it's it's very very important for the late game and as even for the mid games. Sven is a support in this uh, game, but he also got his ultimate. And Sven support can always dish out a lot of damage, and in the late game he can be a carry pretty easily. Mm -hmm. He can uh, tr transcend into a carry quite easy, especially if the team uh, it's uh, doing quite well. But not uh, in just in that yeah. case, of you course. You already got a Sol Ring, so they might even want to go for a Genki on the top lane. Uh, mm -hmm. They're searching for the opportunity, far. that's for sure. Yeah, and Templar says, and meanwhile, finds a Haste Rune on the bot lane, and she's also in this. That quite might be a problem for the Faces Void in the bot lane. It's is he's not speed. sitting at all in a good position. He should really oh go back. Oh, Mace this is going to be a kill. Jumps away, yeah. but I'm not sure if it it's that's a going to be enough. It's a haste rune on the Templar you can't evade that. One so more shot, there she and goes. here's a kill. <laughs> yeah. uh, he sit Easy a bit game for now. Let's not forget about the fact that the person who has the word here, it's uh, not uh, him. It's uh, exactly the, uh, the other team. So you don't have vision, and you sit so advanced. That I think that was a mistake from uh, Masakari. And of course, even if he had anyway, it, it would have uh, mattered because that was I mean, he could do it, was he was invis, so... Yeah. The Templar Assassin had been invis room. In the meantime, on the top yeah. lane, Venge will uh, die, yep, indeed, and there are two heroes low, yep, here comes a kill on the Sven, finally the first kill for uh, PB. You know the drill. Now they will not get anyone else, they have to stop the chase. Yeah, I mean the Drawinger had a decent farm. It was farming pretty much better than the Slark on the lane and Slark is like 1k behind the Drawinger already but it's a Slark never mind so we'll see the Drawinger also isn't that reliable uh, farmer which is really like forced to farm a lot and have a lot of gold she can also work without gold pretty well through her ultimate and also they have the double aura with eventual spirit as well so the, the Drawinger might have a really high damage output. In the early. meantime, Invoker died on the mid lane. He was caught again really good by uh, the Sven support. And of course, uh, the TA. It's a uh, 1 6 for uh, KPG. And, uh, 
the graph shows that uh, they, are, they went for a bit of advantage, they went back, but it, it's indeed just the start, so the graphs will not show too much. Let's see what's happening on the top lane. Now, uh, Sky Red Mage will die, they are trying to get Slark and they just back off, because there's a TP with Sven incoming. Radiant mid -towers yeah, also back. nice D-board there from Slark, using the sentry board. And this will be actually... That might be the end of the Balkan Beers try laying at top. I mean, they have to, they have to have the board around the corner to to be able to do this try laying in the mid lane. Invoker well. died again, yeah. and now Puck will be caught to buy Masakari on the bottom lane. Yeah, Chronosphere was used, but the farm on this uh, faceless void is still actually quite okay for the situation that he's landing against the Puck. So with the kill on the uh, Side, he's actually ahead of the puck, and yeah, he's wait. He he went for the uh, straight master of madness, as it seems, before he even finishes his boots. Yeah, he wants to get that, uh, especially because uh, we are already in the seven minute. Uh, he got the level seven. Just a sec, let's see oh, what's happening on, on the top. Yeah, they will try to get some kills now. Venge is really down HP. It will get uh, killed. Just one more shot, and here it comes. Let's see if they can get more. They want to go in right b below their towers. They will get one more. No. Slark uh, died there. And also Drew Ranger. Uh, Skyrat Mage will be dead also. A 3-4-2. Yeah, that was actually a bad trade for, for KPG. Um, if you saw that the Drow Ranger Silence actually hit the puck who was about to initiate. He wanted to throw th uh, his uh, Illusion Orb into uh, the front just... Skips himself to the illusion orb and dream calls. He, he would have gotten a, a four man or at least three man dream call out of that and huge IE damage. But the silence just came around the corner and hit him pretty bad so he couldn't use the orb to actually go in. And that's what made Balkan Beers actually came out with a good trade there. Yep, uh, because uh, Juke used quite a really good uh, silence at the perfect moment. That was just yeah, and also uh, in the perfect, perfect direction. Moment. I mean, he had like three people with the silence or something. It, they saved really uh, uh, his life. I mean, in the end, it sa didn't save his life because he died, uh, even though. But yeah, KPG had to had to really commit to these kills and him a little too far just uh, feeded some kills and Drawage. I meanwhile, going to the bottom lane and yeah, TA wants to kill assassin. this uh, Drew Ranger. Let's see if it's going to happen. Uh, he goes in, he goes in, refreshment will be up so uh, he can go. Sub was used, now comes a sun strike, but it's not enough. And the kill will be taken by TA. Yeah, and this day is getting fat. I mean, it's, it's 5 and 0. So, yeah, drums is already, face boots are also ready. And with the drums uh, uh, pop there, I mean, we saw the movement speed nearly like a haste rune. Yep. And together with the slug, they can actually start to roam pretty quick. I mean, the Slark is still not so much farmed, but doesn't matter. I mean, it's a Slark. He gets some uh, some nuke and together with the TA, they should be able to make some kills. And indeed TA is in getting a bit greedy yeah. here. Has to be careful. Even if Puck, it's I also here. I don't think he has, has to be really greedy, because there's really not nothing much that could actually stop the refraction. I mean, they don't have good spells against the refraction. And, and here comes Void. With this set, yeah. But it's, uh, it seems that it's not going to be enough. Only with the help of uh, his teammates, uh, they managed to get a kill. Yeah, and but Puck the, I don't, I don't know why the puck didn't come. I mean, the puck had an illusion up running. He wasn't back into the chronosphere. He could just use this uh, illusion up to go right behind the chronosphere, uh, get a two man or three man dream coil, and do some silences, and that maybe have saved, it would have saved the TA's life, and also they wouldn't have get the kill maybe. But yeah. Puck played it safe, and meanwhile, EPA died into the Chronosphere. Let's not forget about the fact that they do have an advantage, even uh, if on uh, the graphs it's not really obvious. But uh, they do have uh, some advantage, and they don't want to throw it like that. Because if uh, Puck would have not uh, made a good in, uh, entrance there, then they would have lost two heroes. And you don't really want to lose your yeah, advantage but so I, easy. I don't know, he could have saved... Oh my god, there's the next initiate on the boy faces void, but he comes to base just fine. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they lost the 5-0 and zero Templar Assassin on that. 
it was a series and it was a huge goal lead from the Templar Assassin. And I think it was would have been worth the trade or the try at least from Puck to save the, his ally there. I mean, one melt would have been enough that did have not dust or sentry rod, so he would have been alive. I don't know. I think the Puck maybe should have tried it because that was actually a huge buff for the uh, Radiant team there, killing the TA. Yeah, that was kind of a big deal for uh, that happened uh, in their uh, in Balkan jungle. But uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll see how much uh, that moment will influence uh, the game. I've, uh, yeah, we I see know. a lot of action. He is scouting for the next kill, and actually he will scout the visage birds. Or no, he doesn't quite see them. Pack uh, also yeah, comes. That's the one. Th that's the one thing that could actually stop the the reflection. The visage bird attacks. Let's not forget that both Puck and TR are here. The uh, Puck has a dream call up. There is another TP from Skyrat Mage coming. Yeah, space created. Meanwhile, Slark farms the top lane. So they do oh, want to go, might be go in. Yet now TA is going to die again. I don't know what yeah, happened. That was too over aggressive. That was very too over aggressive. Especially against the Visage Birds, the uh, refraction just ate in a second. I mean, without the Visage Birds, that really, if he uses the refraction earlier, they really have nothing to stop it. But the Visage Birds are actually up quite, quite fast in the 10th minute, I think he had them. So, good timing on the level 6 from the Visage there. And yeah. Yeah, but At I, least uh, it was space created for Slark. I was a bit confused because I saw that uh, his teammates uh, the s are sitting here, yeah? And TA was here, just initiating. I mean, yeah, why? He was too far, for sure. Yeah, yeah he was just Radiant trying to make, make a commitment out of BBRO, but... Yeah, I th he maybe thought the refraction would save them and he didn't saw the uh, visage also uh, yeah, just reach level 6. The refraction could have saved him indeed in this situation, but yeah, with the visage be birds being there burning the refraction, he had no chance to survive then. Yeah, well, uh, they have to be really, really careful because like this, uh, they have a big chance to lose the a small advantage that they have. Now they try a smoke, maybe they will get somebody and the, the direction is quite good. Let's see if uh, these heroes will meet. And yep, they will be sandwiched here. The, now Venge tries to TP. It's not going to happen. That's a kill. Visage is the next target and should be another kill. Void now uses oh, the Chronosphere. Nice very, very Warming good. Actually. 40 HP on Visage and he's still trying. But, uh, no, the damage is way too big. Way, way, way too big. They did manage to get also the Skyrat Mage. Invoker also dies on the mid lane. And it was 3-4-2. Uh, kind of decent, let's say, because uh, let's not forget about the fact that uh, KPG initiated and it was in uh, BB's jungle. But uh, they really have to be careful with this trading. Because yeah. Drew got a kill there, did not die. And even if he was a four man chronosphere, so they just clumped a little bit in the wrong moment. Uh, they didn't get the last hit on the visage also, but yeah, they managed to get a decent trade or an okay trade in the end with uh, getting the invoker also, so that might have been actually okay for a KPG in this uh, particular moment and it seems like it will be a desolator for the Templar Assassin or maybe BKB, but I think later is a better stand there and I think it will be a desolator. And with that up and running in a few moments, they will have actually the team fight control for sure. Well, if this thing goes uh, like this, uh, Bakken will have quite a good uh, position. Now let's see. They want to try this Roche. We'll see if that will happen. Mm, but uh, let's not forget about the f this work that uh, did gave the vision and the fact that uh, they went in. It seems like they are trying to do a trade, the mid tower for the Roche. Yeah, and right now, the Scarif match is just sitting there trying to prevent some damage, but the Famiers are coming into the Roche pit right now, and Sven sees them actually, and Sven is nearly dead. The Famiers is doing heavy work on the Sven. Got yeah. to use his uh, Warcry to prevent some extra damage, but 
<laughs> Vermeer should get the kill right now. I don't know why they're just still staying there. Those and familiars the made so much waited. damage and now they want to go for this Roche. Let's see if they can stop them. The familiars are scouting and uh, trying to why do, do some damage. Why don't they attack the Oh my god, they it. did manage to take it. Void took the ages and now they are getting also some kills. Even if they just died, now there's uh, three heroes down. Actually, now uh, the ages popped out. They will get another kill maybe on TA. Not before she will take one more. Void needs to retreat. TP is out. Yeah, and the huge problem was that they had the familiars running around them all the time, but they didn't even kill them. I mean, Slark had the opportunity to at least they Slark could have killed them early on, even before the fight collapsed there, uh, mm -hmm. to just burn them down before the fight. And actually, they just disabled them with the stunts on the ground, so they couldn't initiate the Roche back, back in uh, just like they wanted to, because they just don't, didn't focus the familiars in this case. And I don't know if a familiar bird is flying over your head for like. 60 seconds or 30 seconds, you might want to kill it. Should be <laughs> <Yeah>. good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I saw that they were looking, just looking, and okay, nothing. But uh, yeah, I mean, I was wondering. Uh, I, I was just checking. Aren't the familiars on the side of of the radiant? I mean, why aren't Dyer killing them? And <laughs> yeah, I was also point, for I was a few seconds delayed, was yeah. confused there, and I was like, why, what's happening? Why they're not <laughs> attacking? But the problem is that right now uh, Templar Assassin is getting closer and closer to finish that uh, Desolator, which is going to hurt a lot. Yeah, just one more camp and she has it, surely. Yeah. So. This is yeah, going to hurt. In the meantime, hurt. Joe Ranger is level 2 ultimate, so that's also a lot of impact, but still very squishy, so uh, with the burst combination of KPG that could actually kill him quite easily. Well, the thing is that uh, let's say it will be a fight. Yeah, and there's a letter up. Uh, let's say it will be a fight between uh, Drew Ranger and TA. Who do you think will win? Against Drew and PA. Uh huh. Um, At this point. PA, but the TA, yeah. Um, yeah, TA will win because <laughs> beside yeah, the HP that it's... TA will, will for sure win. I mean, she got the reflection. She can take the first hits of the... Uh, the first six hits, actually, of the Draw Ranger without taking damage. Of the exactly. Nice extra burn uh, damage and the double armor reduce plus the aura of the... Uh, uh, yeah, plus the aura of the drums so, so they can... Uh, he could, she could chase the draw if Oh she my god, to. TA wants to go in and attacks the... Oh my god, uh, look at the desolator ooh, damage. You can't even pop the much. here in time. Too yeah. much damage, and that's exactly why and I that's was nice saying about well. the Desolator. Ooh, the Familiars are doing a lot, a lot of damage here. They do manage to get TA down. Now they will try to kill also the Ranger. That's another kill. Pak tries to avoid uh, being killed and will do so. Venge is really close to die here. Sunstrike comes in, will get their kill, but also Venge will die. Oh, that was a bad phase shift actually from Puck. He could have evaded uh, the hits uh, from the Visage, but he got out of the, the phase shift too early. And yeah, that was quite quite bad a bad fight for KPG. They traded even, but uh, they had the advantage before, so it's a better trade for Balkan Bears. And I don't know, the Puck just, just like the TA, I mean, the TA obviously is reliable on his refraction, and you can't really dive into familiars. It's a no-go. I mean, you saw the damage incoming, they just burned the refraction real quick and killed her instantly. Yeah, it was uh, really insane. But uh, there I really think they weren't prepared. I mean, I see, I saw several times the fact that TA just goes in. Uh, I have the feeling Pete, yeah. TA Pete. does not uh, consider where uh, his teammates are. That's my and feeling. It's, it's many. That's uh, not the tactic how to play a TA. This is similar to the slug. You just have your team initiate the fight. You jump in and the back end, just like slug does in the most cases, and just get a quick kill. Go outside of the fight again. Reach and, and wait for the next jump in. And that's exactly how not only slug uh, but also TA works in this situation. Oh, the, this invoker did manage to get away from the first dust, but the second one uh, did caught him. Yeah. He just literally melted. And yeah, the, the TA can't just really go and run into the fight like like uh, she does right now. Yeah, and uh, Void now use the Chronosphere and swap from Venge and Sven should be dead right here. Yep, it's indeed. 
I don't know why Skyrat Mage still wants to go in, even if Slack. Uh, Actually, but this is a good way. Maybe, maybe, yep, they will get uh, at least one kill from here. And Venge is next. Fuck, we will go next to the tower and get the kill. About five yeah, minutes and a half. That was a nice half. fight at the end, but still the TA's positioning. I don't know if he's the best player to even play a TA. I mean, the TA is a heavily position, position uh, reliable hero, so with having these bad positionings in every fight, the TA is not doing her favor very well. Yeah, I mean, they could have won that fight uh, without uh, so many casualties, but again... I, I don't uh, know what's, uh, what uh, that uh, Temper Assassin is doing. Yeah. It's good they win the fight, but... She's just too aggressively. She yeah. needs to be a little more back and outside, back and outside. And she also needs to care of her, for her positioning to not get right into the uh, heavy damage of Balkan Beers. I mean, if they get him once in a stun or if, you, if she goes runs too far... There is a double aura and actually a draw ranger that's doing so much work on her with the familiar burst burning the reflection that you really can't stand the crowd. Yeah, let's hope that uh, maybe they will start playing a bit more as a team because these initiations of uh, TA often gives me the feeling of pub. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but uh, when I see not so much yeah, coordination... She just runs in. It's really not like she considers yeah. to make a good move or have a good stand or a decent positioning. She just goes in. I have oh, to get, get in. And Ouch. Yeah. That got hurt. That, that's not how professional gaming works. <laughs> they didn't really have any chance there. And I'm not sure why Venge is still sitting uh, around here. Venge should have just went back in the moment she had the chance. Yeah, it's not looking good for uh, Most likely Balkan. a tier 2 tower going down, but in the meantime, Void is pushing the bot lane, but he will not be fast enough, I think. No. This uh, top tower went down way, way, way too fast. Because oh, they're going for Rex, it seems like. 3 tower under pressure. So of course, uh, they will try. There are two heroes dead, and uh, Void was not here. Uh, he does have the Chronosphere, but uh, let's see if he will decide to use it. Now they back up. Tier 3 half down, so half HP tier 3, worth a try. And yeah, they lost some, some HP on the tier 2 on their bot lane, but against the tier 3 it's a good trade actually for KPG. And we'll see, maybe taking the next Roche in some minutes. Do you see the timer? I didn't. It's uh, like about 4 minutes, something like that. Uh, the thing is that uh, basically from the entire moment when they started here, the tier uh, 2 was up. They did manage to get the kill on Drew Ranger. After that they went for uh, Venge, that was somewhere around here. They destroyed the tier uh, 2 and took about half of the tier 3 HP. In the meantime, the Void did not manage to do too much damage uh, on the tier 2 on the bottom lane. Not, uh, not even half. So I really think that um, the exchange was perfect for uh, KPG. Yeah, for sure. And this lock is actually getting up quite well. I mean, for the disadvantage he has uh, from the from the early game, he is actually the second most farm hero in the game uh, after the Templar Assassin, and he's on his way for his Eye of Scardi, and that could actually hurt the Drawinger pretty bad. Initiated with Blink Dagger and Eye of Scardi hits. I mean, that's the, the Marksman aura gone, plus my attack slow. Not what I, I want to actually have as a draw ranger. Yeah, but I uh, see right now uh, that um, TA wants to go for Manta style. And uh, two, about two minutes, less than two minutes, the Roche will come up. Most likely, this is uh, one of the biggest parts that uh, KPG are waiting for. They want Roche and yeah, I mean most they likely. can Roche in seconds now with the uh, double uh, armor reduce from Templar Assassin. Yeah, they will try to uh, do something uh, with that Aegis, that's for sure. Yeah, and if they just take care of the Familias this time early, uh, they will have no problem to even fight the Roche bit with Dreamcall on Park ready. Uh, oh, Venge. <laughs> she had like that uh, Slark decided, okay, never mind, and you can leave for now. 
Yeah, and Sven actually is farming on the bot lane, so he tries to get a little bit further uh, in farm. And he got had a blink dagger already, so he might want to transition to a semi carry right now. Like uh, securing the late game potential for GPG in its finest. He can do that for sure because uh, his team are, is doing quite okay. Let's not forget about the fact that they have a uh, 5,000 plus gold advantage, and on XP they have mm, they are getting closer and closer to an 8,000. So they are doing quite fine. Yeah. <coughs> Manta style finished on TA. And this will actually hurt. I mean, now she got a chance to really evade these getting hit it down, except she's hitting hit, hit inside the chronosphere, TA will have a better tie now, and she maybe even get away with just running in like uh, a... Oh, they smoked, but uh, now they will be revealed. They will most likely get the kill on this... Yep, they do. And the uh, row sheets up. They want to try it. Oh, that's uh, the worst timing for KPG to lose a Scarf match, actually. Yeah. Especially when you know it's uh, really, really close to Roche uh, respawn. Because whoever wins this fight, if they do decide to go in and try to fight, uh, whoever wins it will be basically a free Roche for the other team. But uh, of course, uh, Slark decides to put some pressure on the mid tower and forces uh, one TP. Yep, space created and no Roche is. They might want to go in and try it right now, but they should probably de ward first. I don't know if they have any sentry wards standing by. No, they don't. They will try. Both teams uh, should try this uh, Roche. The Wave of Terror makes a small scout there in the Roche bit. Just oh, but trying now to it's, a, it's a Roshan with Wraith of Terror as well. I mean, if the Templar Assassin goes in right now and it melts the Roshan, the Roshan has like minus armor or minus 12 armor. <laughs> yep, from the... It will get a lot of minus. <laughs> Already is, uh, was on 2, minus 2 armor. Now the Wave of Terror effect ended. <laughs> and let's see if they will get the hero kill. The uh, Invoker, Invoker, just one more hit. And here's the kill. Yeah. TP comes Easily in, but too late. Down. And now their pusher can take the Roche. They will most likely try. They, they push the mid and now tries to get some extra kills in the jungle. Drew Ranger, exactly the problem. It's really, really squishy, even if he Ooh, has. And uh, a really the bad chronosphere just on a on a, a dark shadow shadow packed uh, Slark. And indeed, they leave. Uh, lost, yeah, lost nearly everything except the draw. And that was really. A bad chronosphere. Yeah, Catching but his teammate visage plus only will this dark who is already in the shadow dance. That uh, it seems like there they didn't have so much luck. Uh, and it was a bit, mm, I might say that uh, maybe it was too rushed. But uh, you can't control so much in those moments of tension. You know, it's really really hard. So sadly, that went almost close to uh, team wipe. Yeah, but uh, Drew Ranger managed to survive, and here comes the Roche, the second one for uh, KPG. Slark just Guardi on the Slark as well, and with the minus armor, they take him down pretty easily, and they should be able to really get a Rex right now. I don't see really Kambir stop them at this point of the game. Yes, and of course again, TA took uh, the Ages of Immortality. That's going to be quite big. Beside the fact that uh, this TA is really hard to be killed, now it's even worse because I even if you do manage to do it once, you have to do it twice. And Drew Rain is dying on the top lane. Yeah, from just a solo Slark, and that's the power of Slark actually. The draw rate just not that much, da much damage if you're standing close by to him and his, his ultimate is disabled. And the Slark with the Blink Dagger and the Eye of Skadi plus the Pounds is actually best hero cry to kill the Draw Ranger in this game. Even though they might even have a second one uh, or a third one with Puck and Sven uh, with Blink Daggers and Orbs to just go at the Doranger and that's the problem really Balkan Beers had. They need to have a Blink, uh, a BKB at least on the Doranger to prevent those stuns, prevent those damages uh, on the Doranger and those initiates. Yeah, and if, if you check a bit the graphs, you'll see that the XP one went kind of uh, insane. It's uh, 15,000 plus for K uh, KPG and the gold, it's uh, closer and closer to that uh, 8,000. Yeah, long range needs it. Again, went with a nice stun then. Orb was a little bit too late and due to that, the Invoker mm, actually... Massacre is risking. Here. Finally, he went 
to, oh my god. <laughs> he did manage to hide in the trees, now he will TP. Oh, this was a suicide move, Venture Spirit. Yeah, I was watching yeah. the top. I mean, if, the, if Puck used the Dream Call earlier, they have would have gotten Invoker also in this uh, uh, Initiate they had, and yeah. Now they've just taken the tier three, 2 and might back off. No, they want to no, risk it. They, they don't want to go, go for the high ground. ground, why not? I mean, they have an advantage, they kill two heroes, they are on, uh, so that now Balkan has to defend in two. I mean, Slark is on there, so... Hmm? Slark is on the way, so, and yeah. They want to go for the tier 2 uh, bottom uh, first, and uh, that's a clever choice as well, I think. Yeah, it's better to destroy all the tier 2s and after that try to go for the high ground. And especially yeah, because the they're not... Push. Yeah, they're not in such a rush, and plus to have one more lane that puts uh, pressure on the other team, it's really, really good. The more pressure, the more chance you have to uh, actually make the enemy heroes uh, do some mistakes and split out, because that's what you want to do. Uh, if they are split, it, it's kind of oh really bad. Oh my god, there's a butterfly on the TA now. And this TA will have no problems now. All the damage that was coming in, that was killing him so fast, was just the draw range of the Bizarre Spirits and the outer hits and maybe a Chronosphere, but all the damage that Balkan Beers at this point of the game really has is physical and physical attacks mostly. And the Butterfly will prevent that. Next fight initiate is happening here in the base and yeah, yeah they just take out too easily. Let's not forget about Indeed the poker. fact that there is no monkey bar on any from uh, Balkan's team. So they can't yeah. actually uh, do anything about that TA. It's really, really hard. And yeah. I did say It's only physical damage on their side and they have really nothing to work against this uh, evasion. And yep. yeah, this draw is doing some serious work. It is. And as I said at the start of the game, in the pick and ban stage, that uh, Slark is a snowball hero, and that's exactly what it proved again. I mean, it wasn't the really snowball kind of setup for Slark, he was on the top lane, He's, he was getting XP but no farm at all, and mm -hmm. it was it was really on the TA, the Puck and the Sven to make some space for uh, Slark to actually work in those team fights even without farm. It's so the idea well that basically supports. when he starts rolling, he's not going to stop. That's the that's yeah. the idea. Oh, on yeah, the top lane, <laughs> he nice did manage to get yeah. a kill. I mean, he wouldn't he wouldn't have snowballed if there weren't uh, uh, the both supports, uh, aka yeah, or, or rather off lane puck and uh, supports Ben, who really made the space for Slark to kind of be over aggressive uh, when he had no farm at all, so he could keep up with the farm and uh, get some extra. To yes, of course, snowball. of course. Is the idea that you need actually to start, uh, to start, you know, and after that, when you start uh, and I you're mean, getting the wind away, you're not going to really stop. No, normally you have a decent lane and decent farm with the slark after the laning phase, but in this match somehow the slark managed really not to have quite a big impact in the laning phase and farm a lot, so. Let's now the let's. Yeah. I saw how uh, this uh, pack avoided so many hits, avoided also the soundtrack. But uh, sadly for him, wasn't enough. He was, uh, after all, chased by five heroes. Yeah, and right now, I don't know. KPG is just wasting the time a little bit. I didn't see the ages. I, I think just expi expired. I didn't, didn't see Templars doesn't die. Really, yeah, right? it w uh, it wasn't used. Yeah, and that was it's actually sad because now they do really have to wait for the next Roche if they want to play it safe. And uh, there's actually a problem because the Draw Ranger as well as the Invoker and the Void have time to farm now and have time to, to get a li little bit bigger. Yeah, but so, uh, if you yeah. check the graphs, you see that uh, KPG are like somewhere around 15,000 gold. Uh, advantage but and the XP goes somewhere like that. Yeah, the, uh, the XP they're really going a bit down. They went like 5k uh, downer, and on uh, gold it's uh, like two, three thousand, something like that. Yeah, and they will start to lose even more when the time goes on and the drawings are able to find some more uh, space and farm. So yeah, they should try really to focus 
end on Philip's ending this game as quick as possible and as safe as possible, and that would be taking the next Roche and go for a GG push into the base. And yeah, depending the buybacks, there are actually just one buyback on the Visage actually on the uh, Radiant team. The Evoker also already used his buyback some minutes ago. So yeah, the only one that has now buyback are TA, uh, Visage, and Skyrap. In rest, uh, either they don't have uh, gold or uh, we have only one exception. Evoker that used uh, and still has like 3 minutes and a few seconds before he can use again the buyback. Yeah, if they just manage to push the base a bit, get some damage on the towers or even the racks and kill the Invoker, I think they will pretty much at least get one or two sets of lanes pushed in by the racks. It seems like they want to be careful because uh, most likely they feel they lost a bit, a bit uh, of the advantage they had. So they don't want to risk the, this game, you know. Because it's actually a best of one, it's not a best of two or three. And whoever loses uh, goes out. So you don't yeah. really want to risk, uh, especially when you don't have a second chance, you know. Yeah, the Roshan will be up. It's a fast Rosh, so uh, that's actually favoring KPG quite well. Let's see. I mean, they have to really use this token pretty aggressively, and this time really go for the decent push. In One minute and 30 seconds really still the Rosh is out, but in the meantime, Sven will be killed oh. on bottom lane. And they saw uh, the Slark going to top. Now also his teammates are coming. Yeah, but the Slark the are the best now, so. Actually, the Slark is a pretty good weapon against the uh, against the Dranger now. If they shut, if Slark shuts down the Dranger, I don't think I, I think KPG even wins the team fight. If if uh, uh, like three peop three of his other teammates and the TA are in the Chronosphere, if Slark really focuses the Dranger in the meantime, because they can really can't do anything against the Slark, and the Drow will actually die quite fast because. She did decide to go for the demon edge right after the uh, finished Sanj and Yashar and yeah, no BKB in sight for the Dranger. No. So, so aggressive line uh, uh, item choice for a Dranger and it's so risky. Yeah, but they do know the fact that also if they are not getting, uh, most likely that will go into a Monk Kimber. If they don't do that, they don't really have a... Uh, Okay, we have a pause. Uh, they don't I really mean, have. Does it really matter if this Slark jumps the the, the Dranger if the Dranger has an MKB? I mean, she doesn't might even cannot hit the TA at all, uh, even if she got a T uh, MKB when the Slark is focusing her. So basically, they have right now. Uh, they actually they had two options. First one was to uh, put an uh, MKB on uh, that uh, Drew Ranger, or just go for a BKB. But Okay, let's say uh, they would have went for the ver safe version in which they go for that BKB. Okay, they have it. Uh, Dr uh, Drew Ranger can survive a bit more. But what? The, with what use if they are going to enter your base and finish the game? Uh, because she doesn't have I mean, so she much got farm. Enough damage. It's not like the, she doesn't have enough damage. Mm, um, it's so it's, it's just the evasion but by the TA. But the TA evasion actually is not that big of a, of a problem if... You just like focus on on Slark first, get Slark down, and then uh, kill the Sky of Mage, kill the Park and Sven. Just focus the other ones before that, and try to kite around the Templar assassin in the meantime. And yeah, but right now, I mean, the T uh, the uh, Droinger has 1.5k life, so that's actually with the uh, uh, buffs that Slark has and the Pounded Edition, that's like maybe 10 auto hits with the uh, also the chance of a, of a Skull Bashing uh, auto bash. And yeah, the draw range is pretty much dead every time if Slark managed to blink, jump and pounce her. Yeah, but thing is they need to use uh, a team fight. They need to work together and try to stop being uh, caught off. Because if uh, Masakari manages to land a good uh, Chronosphere and catch uh, at least three heroes, the most important ones, yeah? TA, uh, the Slark and uh, let's say the third one to be Puck. These are like actually the most uh, annoying ones. Uh, then uh, and of course Dr uh, Drew Ranger has to be out otherwise yeah in that case they actually can do uh, quite a lot of damage but it's about that chronosphere everything relies uh, really strongly on uh, Masakari here on his shoulder it's the entire pressure 
Yeah, but the problem is, of course, you want to get the big four or five man chronosphere. But if you don't get it, who you who do you focus? Do you focus the TA or do you focus the slug? If you focus the slug with the chronosphere, he might even go into the shadow dance before that and you can't even do something in the chronosphere. If you go for the TA in the chronosphere, I mean the slug is just jumping your uh, your uh, draw ranger and you have really no damage at all to even kill uh, the ones right. in the chronosphere. Yeah, yeah it's so that's uh, a big problem. It's uh, they have to choose something, you know. And uh, yeah. it seems like this is what they chose. It's not like also, and don't forget about Sven. I mean, Sven is dealing a lot of damage with his level three ultimate now, and also the Vlad's uh, ready I means the Sven is tanky as hell. I mean, yeah, the t the Sven actually could even solo kill the uh, draw ranger at this point of the game. Yeah, Sven is uh, getting f uh, fatter and fatter, and let's not forget about the fact that uh, our uh, big Roche it's back, and right now they are scouting with the. Uh, um, with that, uh, oh my god, uh, fast track. I, I don't know why, just in that uh, this moment I forgot about the name. No yeah, it was skipping. Uh, they're scouting, but uh, even so, it didn't matter. Uh, Temporary Assassin did manage to get that ages. And that's Aqua, that's the drums with three remaining charges at the 40th minute, Nelly. That's unusual. Normally, you want to use all these drum charges like in the Till the 30th minutes, you want to have these drum charges popped out so and, and uh, get something, get some kills, get some action with it. And Unusual. now they are now using he has a to sell it without even use it. Yeah. They are not going to catch anyone uh, in the forest. That's for sure. Because uh, it's okay. They may we catch someone which will defend the tower. I mean, the creep creep wave is obviously pushing, so they might want just want to stand by. And now the two supports are coming, and this could be devastating for them. Yeah, now they're, yep, they want to catch uh, this, uh, ven uh, this visage and yeah. Venge... Actually, the Venge goes down and that's yeah. actually bad. I mean, if the Visage would have died, it, was, it would have been not that bad really because... Yeah, but now the Venge is there, they can't even save the Draw Ranger from being initiated at all. They don't have the Venge swap anymore and now it's just go time for Slark, which is He goes in, in right now. Yeah. He doesn't care, he just doesn't care. I think it would have been... If he, if he baits a Chronosphere at this point, uh, it's not oh, a bad thing. And it's they only did the manage TA. To get, they did manage to get TA, but look how low damage is. It's just not enough. They're not doing enough. Yeah. Three heroes already die. We have a buyback from Invoker. Now the fourth one will do the same thing. And there are just no buybacks. It's done. Yeah, this is at least one set of racks, I mean they could just go and uh, they will do that, just go for the next tier 3 tower and they might even go for game at this push. Yeah, they, they do still want have to the go ages, to be so a bit there's uh, nothing safer. to stop them really, yeah. That's the se second racks and the third racks will follow, just in a sec. The t yeah, they the go even for the last the one, they do want to get the mega creep. Visage did have the buyback. But uh, they still decided not to, and yeah, simply no Vengeance Spirit this just game melted. Is over. Just this melted. Game is over. Yes, so and here comes the Mega Creeps, and there's the GG. GG uh, called, yeah. Yep. KPG with a very good game. 20 I mean, uh, there was some 20k plus gold advantage and XP. F that was kind of big. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks uh, for having me, anyways. Quick game, no problem. Thank you also for coming. And uh, I saw that <laughs> there were some people saying in the chat before the game started that uh, uh, Back and uh, Bears Romania will win for sure this game. It will be really easy and that uh, KPG will not stand a chance. It seems like uh, that didn't yeah, happen. More the other way around. <laughs> yeah, it was exactly the other way around. But uh, yeah, this uh, it seems like uh, KPG will go up, uh, in the next round, and uh, from what I know, who uh, lost this game will go out of uh, the league. So with that being said, uh, thank you, Xen, for being here tonight with me and all the viewers. If you're new to the channel, would like to watch more, don't forget to follow. Also, if you want to see more of uh, my streams and details, you can scroll down. You'll see my social links. And see you guys next time.